This time we're playing as Tyrus Flare, and she's faster, and she has stronger magic, but it takes a lot more potions. This is one of the few times we'll be able to use our basic attack, because these two enemies come one at a time. The best time to hit an enemy is right as soon as they get on the same plane as you, before they have time to react. This fight used to give me a lot of trouble because I used to think there wasn't very much room to move around, but we have this whole area up here. Gives us plenty of room to deal with both of them. If you try to fight them uh, down here, of course they're gonna box you in. Screaming villagers running for their lives is not usually a good sign, and oh, here's a dragon. That might explain it. This is the stage for rideable mounts, which is good because Tyrus later got a spin-off game where she did nothing but ride them called Golden Axe Beast Rider. But we're not talking about that. This dragon's fire only hits the ground right in front of you, which means you have to be really good at timing it, but I've played this game so much that it's pretty natural now. It's already boss time, and this is one of many two-part bosses, so we're not going to use our potions just yet. These two are absolutely no big deal, especially with a mount. They're just like the enemies we've seen so far, but they have more health and hit harder. Also, they're green! But really, they're no big deal. And this is where things start to get real. Three enemies at once is kind of a big deal, especially when one of them has a dragon. A dragon that shoots a projectile. But as long as we keep ourselves moving, they shouldn't be able to land a hit. Pretty easy. 